Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas, and today we are going to learn how to use Parent Square. So um, in the video, we will learn about um, how to change our profile information, how to post information to your classes or to your class, how to do direct messages to individual users or a group of individuals, how to look at your class roster, um, your class calendar, how to upload photos, files, and so on, on and so on. And hopefully if we have time, we'll go into the um, mobile app too. So notice that I am in class link and over here we've added the parent square um, app. Um, if you don't want to go through class link, you can just go to parentsquare.com and it will take you there. You should have your username and password. It was sent to you and we took that information from Aries. But if you don't know your password or you didn't get that email, just come in here type your HLP USD email and say go and it's going to send you an email to reset your password. But let's go ahead and start from class link. I'm going to click in there and I'm going to log in. The first time that you do this, it's going to ask you to save your credentials, your email and your password. But from now on, once you do it, you'll never have to do this again. So let me go ahead and put that in for us. So let's go ahead and save them and notice that it's going to save it. And from now on, it's going to remember it and it's going to automatically log you in. So now we are logged in here, okay? And I'll give you a, a, a quick um, run through of over here. So always home is up here. If you wanna see um, data for your school, you can see that right here too, but you're mostly gonna function out of home. But if I go all the way to the right, uh, notice I have Espanol, but I can switch that if I wanted to a different language, English right there. Notice how it went to Spanish right there and everything got translated. So our parents can do this too. Let me go ahead and switch it back. So English is by default, okay? Over here, any reminders will be right there. Any, um, uh, let me uh, show you what this one is. I just clicked on it. It's going to show you like uh, parents and what they think about Parent Square. It's just kind of a love wall. And over here, if you need support, and there's some great videos over here, you can use that too. But to the right, we're going to see your username. So you can go to my account. And the first time that you go to my account, you'll be able to set preferences, including adding a picture if you wanted to, um, in here, um, adding info about you, changing your language settings. Uh, if you wanted to put office hours so parents know when they can reach um, out to you, you could do that. So I can go edit in here and notice that I can um, add any info, like upload a picture if I wanted to about you and so on and so on, okay? So just to give you an idea of how that looks. So that's how you will change that. But let's go ahead and go back home. Something you might notice right here is that if you have any students and even if they're in a different district, your own kids, you're, you're all going to be able to see their info right here. So I have a student um, that goes to Hacienda La Puente, my daughter, so I will be able to see her here. And maybe I had someone that went to a different district. You will see that too in there. And if you clicked on it, notice that it will take you to that info for the kids. So you're mostly going to function out of two different places, post and messages, okay? Post is something that is going to go to your entire course, and messages is when you can send something to a person, one parent, or maybe a group of parents. So let's go ahead and look at posts. You can start a post from here, if you notice. You can also come to the drop down, new post, new poll, and then we won't have time to talk about, about appointment signups, but you can do this um, too if you wanted to set up appointment signups for parent conferences, okay? You see your calendar here, and then for our elementaries, you'll be able to see your one class or in any groups that you belong to. For our middle schools and high schools, you'll be able to see all of your courses right here, okay? And I'll show you how you can post to all of them if you have common preps. So let's go ahead and create a new post. So we're gonna click on it. Over here, the first thing you're going to see is who are you gonna send it to. So by default, I can send it to my entire class, okay? The subject, let's go ahead, welcome back, um, reminders, okay? And over here, who should see this, okay? So over here, you wanna make sure that it's just maybe you and then the parents, that's fine if you wanted to. I'm just gonna do the parents, okay, for this one, okay? And notice that over here, we have um, the ability to just add text, Right? So we could do the reminders if you wanted to. You have the ability to add uh, emojis if you want to, an image if you want to. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, let me add an image. So let's go ahead and type something. Welcome back, right? And then I'm gonna add my image if I wanted to. So let's find one that I just saved on my uh, desktop. Okay, we'll take this one and put it in there. Okay, it's gonna come in. So I like that. So we can make it bigger or smaller. It's completely up to you. 
just like you do on Outlook. You can do the same thing. You can add a link if you wanted to, maybe to your um, whatever it might be, right? To your Canvas page, whatever you might want to do on here. Okay. You also have the ability to insert video, right? We've been using um, Canvas and video, and it's very powerful to create those connections. So you could come in here and then um, notice that you could add a video right here if you wanted to. So you could create it um, in, in Canvas Studio and then just add it or embed it right in here if you wanted to. Okay. So that kind of gives you that idea. And over here, you do have the code view if you are um, familiar with HTML code to do even more things. Okay. Over here in the bottom, you have the ability to change whatever you wrote. So maybe most of your parents in your class uh, communicate in Spanish or even in Chinese. You can change whatever you type to have that go in whatever language you choose. So I clicked on it and notice now I have it in Spanish. And if I go up here, now I have it in Chinese too. Okay. So just to give you an idea of that, it's right there too for you to use. Okay. Kind of a great feature to have right there. Okay. Notice that in addition over here, we have calendar entry, RSVP. You can attach photos or files. If you um, are saving photos or files, you could do that. Okay. You can go to your Google Drive and grab them. You can go to my device. You can do links from here too, if you wanted to. You also have the um, ability to add forms and permissions. We're not going to go into that today. Ask for items. If you wanted to ask for items and, and parents square is going to keep count of what you receive from parents and also request volunteers. We're not going to go over that today, but that's available too. And over here to the right, you have notification options so the first one is and the default one is send you send a user preferred time instant or digest so that means that the parents decide when to receive it we always suggest digest uh, so people get it at the end of the day but if you wanted to send it instantly you can override that and set that right there and if you don't want people to be notified because they might get too many notifications you can change that to right here okay just so you know it's going to tell you that it's going to go instant right now right now okay and then how many I digest. So that's completely up to you, just so you see it. And then over here, you can preview it. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, you can hide the preview again. You can post now, or you can choose to schedule, save a draft, or preview again. Okay, so if I was ready to do it, I can just post it. If I was just going to schedule, I could click over here, and I will schedule it at a later time. And that gives you the option right there. So this is how you use it. Um, um, again, if you wanted to do ask for items, notice I can click on it and I can do the wish list and I can say, when do I need them by? And then how many, what do I need and when do I need them? Okay. And also if I wanted to request for volunteers and, and again, you might need to have um, these people be in the um, uh, clear by the district, but that's how you would do it, right? Maybe I'm going on a field trip and that's how you would do it and add another day and so on and so on. So this gives you an idea of how to do posts. I'm going to get out of here and notice that I didn't save the post. I basically just went back home. Okay, so I'm back home now. And now I wanna show you uh, messages. So over here, let's say that I wanted to send a new message to a particular parent. I can go in here, new message, okay? Um, I can send to sell all students if I wanted to. I can send to select the students or I can send to parents of select the students. So I have the option of doing that. Okay. So completely up to you. Okay. So maybe I want to send it to a couple of parents. So let's pick that. Okay. And the great thing about doing it like this, I could just send it to one of them if I wanted to, but notice that I can send it to more than one. And when I do that, I do private message. A separate conversation will be created for each participant. So it's like BCC. So even though you're including more than one parent or more than one student, it goes as three different uh, threads or conversations. Okay. Or I, if I wanted to do it as a group message, then everybody's going to be in one conversation in here. Okay. So each participant will see messages from everyone else. So that's completely up to you. And over here, I will just type my message. And again, I have the ability to add a picture or to add any attachment and send right here too, okay? So that's basically a real fast overview of Parent Square. In addition, just to show you a couple of things uh, really fast, the directory is right here, okay? So you do have the stuff in here, just so you know. You also have your calendar in here, okay? Just so you can subscribe to other people's calendars if you wanted to. Uh, photos and videos, again, there's some that is in there, but you can upload your own stuff in here. Or you can just bring it from your desktop like I did, okay? Uh, links, if you wanted to add links that are going to be uh, reused a lot, okay? And then over here you have the resource hub. Uh, and if you wanted to add any resources in here, you could too. Videos, audio, images, and so on and so on. Everything's going to come together. Anything that you've added is going to show up in here finally, okay? Uh, if you wanted to participate in groups, and notice that you are already for this particular teacher. They're in three groups in here. You can see this. And then finally, archives are right here. So again, this was a very fast overview. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosas. Have a great day.